Hey everybody, it's InnoVision, and we've been at it again. I've been losing sleep, working in my free time, in order to pull this prototype off. We've got the official SteamOS and Windows 11 dual booting on our Legion Go and Ally devices. In today's episode, we're going to give you a sneak peek at our dual boot setup. Stick around, because you don't want to miss any of it. We've had so many people asking about dual booting SteamOS and Windows 11 on their Legion Go and other non-Steam Deck hardware. While it's not supported right out of the box, it's totally doable. I've come up with several working approaches, some of which even involved rewriting the SteamOS installer. I've lost sleep over this to make this possible to show you all the love. Now show it back by hitting that like button and subscribing. Get your friends and family to subscribe because we've got so many goodies coming down the pipeline. Full disclosure here, getting the dual boot set up is a bit rough around the edges. I've come up with several working approaches and what I'm trying to do right now is distill it down into the simplest one that will have the least amount of issues while you're working through it. Note that setting up the dual boot is not for beginners. I'd consider it as something that's slightly more advanced, but the aim for our video when we do show you how to do it is to put together something that anyone can follow. And it's going to be very important that you follow all the steps and understand each section. When that video comes out, my recommendation would be to watch it a few times, especially if you're not comfortable you know, with tinkering and you're not comfortable with Linux, take some time to familiarize yourself with the video before you get started. When our video is ready, the steps we will provide will be a universal set of steps. That means the same steps will work on all Legion Go devices, all Ally devices, and in general, all devices that are supported by SteamOS. Let's take a sneak peek at our dual boot setup running on our Legion Go. All right, it's time to fire it up. First thing we're gonna do is just hit the power button. And as our Legion Go boots, we're going to be greeted with a bootloader menu. And that bootloader already has SteamOS and Windows. So let's start by tapping to go into Windows. What I love about this is the touch screen is working. So I can just go right in, touch it there. I don't have to go into my BIOS and pick which boot manager to use. So I can just sidestep that issue altogether. While technically it's possible to dual boot without a custom bootloader, it's just a lot smoother. It makes for a better user experience if we have one like we have here. And you know that we're in Windows. The first thing we're going to do is fire up Game Pass. Game Pass is like the crown jewel of Windows right now. In fact, I usually keep Windows around for anti-cheat and Game Pass, but nowadays I've been actually getting my anti-cheat games up and running without Windows. I'm going to show you folks videos on that in the future, but what I love is being able to play Game Pass still. So here we are, and you know we're going to play Little Kitty Big City because it's about a black cat, and you know we at InnoVision Games love black cats. This is a game that runs very nice on the Legion Go, even with Game Pass, without much tweaking involved. <laughs> you know it's funny this stereotype of cats not liking water our cat loves to play in the water off we go Love that nod to the Super Mario Brothers warp pipes here. So we can clearly see that 
we're able to run Windows just fine. So now let's get into SteamOS. We're just going to shut down and turn the, back, turn the Legion Go back on. And when we turn it back on, we're going to select SteamOS at our bootloader menu. Who's ready to see SteamOS? I know I am. Hit that power button. Here we go. SteamOS does take a little while to boot up, but it's gotten a lot better since the beta. There's still a little bit more work to do, but I'm excited to see how it develops. And we're off. And we've got our Legion Go remapper installed. So look, I'm gonna change my TDP profile. I'm gonna hold the Legion space button and push the Y button. Look, that's the cool profile. Performance. All right, back to balance. So I typically like to run in balance. All right, let's check out Half-Life 2. This is a game that runs great in both Windows and SteamOS. I do notice that in some of the earlier areas, when you get near the fire in Windows, your frame rate will drop by like 30 to 40% when you're staring at the fire. I don't see that big of a drop in SteamOS, but there is still a drop that's noticeable there. There's nobody around here. It's perfect for a demo. I don't have to worry about getting fired at while I'm talking to everybody. But this is flipping awesome. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to share with everyone the final product. We just got a little bit more to do. It's going to be totally worth it. So I'm just shutting down like normal. You know, all the other functions like the suspend resume and things like that, it all behaves like it would. So just because you have the dual boot installed, it's not going to affect, you know, the quality here. What an amazing time for handheld gaming. We're truly in the middle of a PC gaming renaissance and I'm so hyped just to be a part of it all. When our how-to guide for dual booting is ready, be prepared to schedule three to five hours of time to get through the whole process. It's a lengthy process, and because it's a lengthy process, it takes a long time to make a quality video covering that topic. I really wanna make sure we don't miss any steps and that it's as simplified as possible. That way everyone can follow along at home. We have a couple more amazing videos in our queue that we'll be finalizing as we put the finishing touches on our dual boot guide. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, so you can see all the amazing gaming tips, tricks, and mods we've got coming down the pipeline.